Hey everyone, I'm Lisa, Broadway fangirl extraordinaire, and thanks for joining me for another episode of PNC Broadway and Columbus's Broadway Dish. We are at one of my very favorite places in Columbus and a wonderful partner to Broadway and Columbus, the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. And Columbus is celebrating some big anniversaries. Next year is Kappa's 50th anniversary, and this year the zoo is celebrating the 40 years it's spent with its director emeritus, Mr. Jack Hanna. And he's here joining me today with his lovely family, Julie and Susie. Jack, thank you so much for joining me and congratulations on your 40th anniversary. It's be a quick 40 years, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I bet. Yep, so sure maybe we can go around and explore the zoo? Uh, I don't know if I know anything about it yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try and drive. Oh my gosh. You, you know what? this one? The lion sleeps tonight, you kidding me? As a matter of fact, ask Sue. Some of the first animals we ever raised were lions. To help other zoos? Yes, we did. Village, the peaceful village, the lion sleeps tonight. In the village, the quiet village, the lion sleeps tonight. That was amazing. I think we should probably go on the road and a tour together. <laughs> yes. Oh, I like that. Yeah. It'd be a break for me instead of taking care of monkeys every day. So what 40 years ago attracted you to the Columbus Zoo? And our daughter Julie right there had leukemia at St. Jude Hospital. Wow. And they were sending her to, to you know, it could be Knoxville or whatever. Then it could be Columbus because of the Nationwide Children's Hospital. Oh, so yeah. can you imagine how blessed the Hannah family was that they were looking for a zoo director and I was looking for a place to save my daughter. And sure enough, Wow, everything Mind aligned. You. Exactly. So we're going to ride the merry-go-round? Before we do, let's talk about our furry friend that's joining us today. Can you tell me a little more? Yes, this is my wife. This is uh, Julie. <laughs> that's not what I meant. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, that's no, Toddy. I'm sorry. And Toddy's about 20-something years old. Been here all this time. The Palm Civic, how many people have ever heard of it? They do live in, in Asia, and they also live in their lives in trees. You see this little creature here? That animal there could take down a king cobra. Really? A king cobra, one drop of venom from a king cobra can kill an elephant. Thousands of pounds, right? So how okay. in the world does he do that? That's what I was going to ask. All right. The cobra comes down. Usually a cobra doesn't chase you like some snakes. The cobra will flare out like this with the head flattened like this. Okay. And they, I've seen them up 8 and 10 feet in the air like this. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden this little thing here comes out of the bushes or whatever to, to eat, consume him. And he starts walking around the cobra. So the cobra goes like this, right? And just trying to strike him. So this animal stays back far enough. Then this animal runs around the cobra. And like this, the cobra's going like this. He'll go around like this. All of a sudden, the cobra gets so dizzy, he falls over like that, and that's when it gets him. Wow. Now, isn't it amazing how Mother Nature is? If I throw up, don't worry. If I throw up, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jack, I was curious. Are you a fan of Broadway shows, musical theater? Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? And so, do you have a favorite show? Oh, yeah. Jersey Boys. And I just happen to have from that show. No, you don't. Talk like a man, talk like a man, walk like a man, my son. That is pretty good. I think you'll probably have some. What happened? So when you take the animals places, where do they stay? In the rooms. <laughs> In hotel rooms? Yes, like the sloth, for example. The sloth loves the closet. He hangs upside down. He loves it. You know, as far as, you know, and we all, all these hotels say that we keep them just as clean as anybody else. And we do. And, uh, you know, they, they, they sit there and Cheetah might sleep with you in the bed. Who knows? So how do you think um, animals feel about show tunes? About what? About show tunes. Don't you know that I heard it through the grapevine? Not much longer will you be mine? Ooh, heard it through the grapevine. Wow, my favorite <laughs> song. Jack, Julie, Susie. Thank you so much for joining me today. It was such a pleasure to explore this beautiful zoo and well, sing some you. show tunes with you today. Well, I'll be better next time. Plus, 
I had a beautiful leopard sitting next to me. <laughs> Look at this. You're too nice. <laughs> and that's it for this week's episode of PNC Broadway and Columbus's Broadway Dish. We'll see you again next week. And bye. I'll, bye. bye. And, I'll, and I'll try and be a better singer later. <laughs> <laughs> So do you have a favorite show? Oh yeah, Jersey Boys. I mean, I'm just saying that. Also, what's the other one, the Italian, uh, that one? Italian. Hey Sue, what's that? No, it's those things I like, the, the shows I like on Broadway. Oh, you love Jersey Boys. Yeah, but what's the other one? Mamma Mia. Yeah, I saw Mamma Mia, Mia five times. Yes, I did. It's set in Greece. Oh, Greece? Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> You see how much I pay attention. I'll educate you about musicals and you educate me about animals. animals. Yes, it's a horse. Deal? Oh, oh. <laughs> I feel so much better now knowing that.